Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new pre-order comics to buy this weekend only. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There are some good books, I, I gotta be honest with you. So stay tuned, and we'll get through it quickly. Alright, let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as always, if you want to order from my store, you can, economicsandcomics.com, or pre-order these wherever you want, your local comic book stores, whatever. You know, they come out in three to four weeks. So, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm not super excited, but I'm excited about this. Uh, make sure to watch my new top ten comics to buy coming up on Monday. I've got a little special for you guys that you might be interested in participating in. You could win something really cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and just start right off the bat with some of my favorite covers. Then we'll hit the number ones and reads, and then we'll hit the top ten. It should go pretty quick. Here we go. Okay, guys, cover. Starting off with Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt number two, the Barons variant. I love Barons. That's really good. Avengers 15, the Scotty Young. Lots of Scotty Youngs this week. And the Yoon cover. Batman 89 Echoes number 3, the Forbes cover is finally out, the Catwoman cover, which is sick. Batman Gotham by Gaslight number 1, they're reprinting it, facsimile edition, and there will be a foil. Fairy Tale Team Up, Robin Hood and Van Helsing cover D. Fantastic Four number 21, Scotty Young cover. And the Arthur Adams. Okay, they're selling this book a week early, Gun Honey Collision Course number 2, the G limb foil they sell the limb foils a week early because it takes longer to do um i saw this cover on instagram and dude it is hot so many artists are commenting on it all right i would pick this cover up poison ivy number 23 cover b the botulo cover this is a great read and the frank cho cover spider-man shadow of the green goblin number three the uh MMP variant. Oh, man, that's great. I love it. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, sixth printing. Usagi Yojimbo, the Crow number three, cover B by Derek Chu. And the Vampirilla Dark Reflection books this week are on fire. Number one, cover A by Frizen. Cover B by Perio. Cover C by Linsner. And cover D is Ann Coletto. Okay, that's over with. Let's get through the new number ones. Deadpool Kills Marvel Universe number one, Facts Edition. They're reprinting that book. Giant Size Daredevil number one. A book called Hell's Half Acre number one. Mad Magazine number one. They're reprinting that as a Facts Edition. That's pretty cool. Precious Metal number one. Profane number one. And then we got a book, X Men Blood Hunt Jubilee number one, the regular cover. Here's the Peach Momoko and the Young cover. And a new book called The Writer number one. Now, some great reads. Great reads. Gods number eight, one of the best reads of the year. Infernals number four, another great independent book. Miles Morales, Spider Man number twenty one, the regular cover, and the the Scotty Young cover. This I think something's happening in that book, so I'm highlighting it for you. Okay, let's get to the top ten. But before I do that, please subscribe, comment, like. I really appreciate it. I believe the comments really help in watching the entire video if you can. Um, and also. Check out my Sin City Spider-Man short I did. It's a minute long after this video if you want. I want to see if I can boost that that one because I, I spent a lot of time editing it, and it could, you'll think it's funny, I think. All right, and to boost it, you got to watch it for 58 seconds and comment on the short. Okay, number 10, top 10, X-Men Air of Apocalypse number one, a new apocalypse book. Regular cover. And here's the uh, the MMPR cover. So for centuries, Apocalypse tested the mutants on Earth. Blah, 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 blah. Twelve mutants chosen from the X-Men's greatest heroes and villains will compete.
for the honor, but only one can become the heir of apocalypse. That should be good. That should be good. Number nine is Neil before Zod number six. Here's a Lucio Perillo cover. Uh, this story is great. They talk about the Emerald Eye of Ekron. I don't know what that is. Number eight is Deadpool number three. Here's the regular cover. Here's the Hildebrandt cover. The Liefeld cover. And they're doing a movie cover. You know when uh, Deadpool Wolverine where he peeks and he goes, wait. And he sticks his head up. That's the movie cover. Number seven is Scarlet number one. This is G.I. Joe. Uh, I think it's Enter John Universe. Uh, Scarlet, there's a bunch of covers. A lot of you guys will be picking that up. Number six is Incredible Hulk number 13. Here's the regular cover. And here's the Scotty Young cover. Um, I believe we're going to see the first full appearance in this book of, uh, I forgot his name, the Flesh Weaver or whatever. This book has been a great read. Very fun. Okay, number five is an indie called Falling in Love on the Path to Hell, number one. They have been talking about this book forever. Um, they've been giving special copies away at like Seattle Comic Con. I sent JW down there to represent the store, and he got us some signed copies. And this book should be pretty cool, and I'm going to buy a couple copies of it. It's like Samurai Gunslinger type of thing. Number four is Ultimate X-Men number four. Here's the regular cover. Here's the Momoko cover. Here's the Wernet cover. And here's the Meg Megan Hetrick Ultimate Special. So it is saying there's going to be a new X-Men or a new character introduced in this book. So that's a key. Number three is Spider-Boy number eight. Introducing Puzzle Man, as you can see on this cover. And the Scotty Young variant. I like it a lot. So there's going to be a new villain in the Spider-Boy, and they're starting to wrap stuff up of his origin and all that stuff. Number two, I put Thanos Annual number one. Here's the regular cover. Here's the young cover. And here's the foil. That is a dope cover, and to be foil is going to be sick. Uh, the annual event of 2024 starts here. After the events of his series, he goes off to find the Infinity Stones. Uh, he is in for a shock when he discovers that the stones have been incorporated into actual people, like Star, Quantum, Overtime, Prince of Power, and Multitude. But wait, there are six Infinity Stones, but only five people listed. You don't want to miss this Marvel Universe shaking saga. Okay? And I had to do number one, one of the best reads of the year, Batman 148 cover A, and the 1 in 25 cover 6. This is the finale between, I believe, Failsafe as Batman and Batman. And I really hope it doesn't end because I am loving Failsafe as Batman. It's We needed it. And if you're not on Batman and you've been missing it, I'm sorry. It's been really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you watching. You can go to my store now and order, pre-order, economicsandcomics.com. Please watch my new short that dropped this morning, and we'll see you later.